Well, thank you for having me, Adam. Let's start off with the agency world. You got into the agency world pretty early in the game when I think Amazon agencies was not cer uh, certainly a common thing. There's obviously some out there, but it was more big brands that needed to figure out how to sell on Amazon. I think like the, the little guy, so to speak, or, or the everyman agency, you're one of the first uh, and have been at it a long time. The agency space is blown up. Just kind of checking the tape, man. I, and this is kind of fairly awe-inspiring and pretty crazy. So 2019, you did 1.1 million in, in, in revenue. Pretty damn good business. 2020, a little more than doubled it to 2.5 million. 2021, again, a little more than doubled to 6 million. 2022 is 11 million. And then if we check that tape today, or at least in 2023, you want a $20 million plus Amazon agency. If I just think of the logistics of that, it's pretty intense. That 6 million to 20 million, I'm sure there's a lot that has happened behind the scenes and with you as an individual and, and with your company, Meg. It's impressive, but I'm, I'm also curious what happened behind the curtain there. Everything that an agency does is always gonna come back to people. Right. I had to learn how to use culture index to hire the right people. I had to figure out how to source people right before that big push three years ago. I had to hire 100 interns in 30 days. I would call up HR and I'd be like, hey, guys, I'm looking at the projections here. We're not going to have enough staff in three months if we don't hire 100 people like now. And then I'd hang up, we get off the meeting, nothing happens. Next day, I call another impromptu meeting with the recruitment team. I'm like, guys, I'm serious. Like, we got to recruit 100 interns. In 29 days, your one day is gone, or we're not going to have enough support for this amount of growth. I, I call up the recruitment team day three, and I'm like, guys, if we don't send job offers out today, I'm, I'm going to get a new recruitment team. <laughs> like, and, and that day, 21 offers went out. And within 20 or so days, we had 100 signed internship offers. Those layers of growth have always been people problems or people induce it's the who not how sort of mentality yeah. amazon doesn't care about sellers the buyer is all they care about right it's the most customer centric company in the world hands down the challenge that i have when i look at scale in this kind of a business is you got to have some core elements and dna within a brand to be successful in today's amazon how do you qualify at that scale when you're bringing on hundreds of new accounts a year to be like hey we can really help this person or this is going to be a bit of hail mary versus this one's just not gonna work? And how do you have that appetite for growth matched with like, who can we really help and serve? Especially if you look at the context yep. of Amazon, how brands do, I mean, that's a conundrum, right? It's like someone's, hey, I'm gonna pay you much. X thousands a month, here you go. Hard to, to say no to that, especially if you've got a team of 30 salespeople that are, you know, I'm sure incentivized heavily by who they close. How do, you right size, how do you right size that? I made a unique branding position that will help everybody. It's difficult because the brands that we think are gonna be harder, we don't actually say no to them. We just tell them straight up like, hey, just to set expectations, here's what we think is going to happen. That has been a challenging brand position because that means we take on some brands that are higher risk and that will likely fail, knowing that some of them will have bad experiences, go write some negative reviews. But I'll be honest, I don't feel like I know which brands are going to succeed with a crystal ball perfectly. I have been surprised and surprised again by what works and what doesn't. Proof to that, like for every three products you launch on Amazon, one seems to do exceptionally well, one breaks even, and then the third like is a total loss. And I can't tell you which of the three is going to be which one, even today yeah. as a supposed Amazon expert. Closing. What's next for you, man? You know, first of all, where can people find you? And what what does the next couple of years look like for you? I'm curious. LinkedIn and YouTube is where I hang out for sure. Amazonguy.com if you guys want to talk to us or, or work with us. I proudly show a video of Adam Heiss on my website in multiple locations where we helped him with the trademark and some brand yep. registry stuff. I am on a pathway to try and take the wealth that I've made and continually build it up even further. I want to change the world. I want to help the world in the biggest possible impact I possibly can. And I believe I'm going to require a lot of wealth to do that. I'm going to be focused on creating prosperity that will snowball into larger and larger projects. As an Amazon agency, I don't, I don't say babies per se, but I do, I do help families build their own wealth, both from an employment standpoint, as well as a brand building their, their business standpoint from a client standpoint. How I take this wealth and snowball into the next aspect to have that impact, I am struggling to figure that out. You know, just to be very specific, I, I really want to go put pedophiles in jail. I want to help protect children from sex trafficking. Like these are very strong feelings that I have that I want to go help the world as much as I possibly can. I'm a family man. I got five kids. I want the world that they live in to be a better place 
right? And a lot of people, I think you touched on the big why question earlier. Like a lot of people would just say, hey, I checked the box and I'm good. And for me, it's not enough. I feel compelled. I feel attracted to the concept that I can actually move a mountain in this world and make it a better place for everybody. And so that's really where I'm going to head next. I really want to help have that biggest grandiose impact I possibly can. And I'm, I'm currently trying to network with other individuals who can help me do that. And if somebody's listening to this and, and, and the message that I've, I've said today resonates, I hope you do contact and I hope that we get to work on this together. 